Hi there, Roger Burnley here, and I have another video for you. Again, a lot of questions about how do I get rid of the strain and the tension in my voice. Now, there could be a lot of different factors going on that's causing you to have that. The typical one and the most common one is that you're feeling that because you are cutting off your air as you're trying to create sound. And so to compensate for that or to try to get the sound to come through, then what you do is you tighten up and you start to push to try to make that happen. So what we have to do first is to start to get that tension or strain as you felt it to start to release. Now, we need to understand a little bit more again about how the body works. When you are creating that strain, typically what's happening is that you're either using the outside muscles in the neck here. These outside muscles are connected to the larynx or the voice box. That's where your vocal cords are, right? So if you've got this kind of an action going on as you're singing, and typically you do that when you start to go up to the higher notes, and so then you're moving your larynx out of the way and so your air is cut off. So let's understand that a little bit deeper now. Your body creates sound by air coming through the windpipe or the trachea, right? The larynx, when that is moved out of place, either up, uh, here, or down, oh, like that, it's moved out of place and so your air is going to be cut off. A lot of you have seen that some of the other things, videos that I've talked about, the swallowing muscles and all of that, um, this is connected to that. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to that again. But for right now, I just want you to understand what causes a lot of the tension and the strain that you're feeling. A lot of times when you not, don't feel like you have enough air, you will start to tighten up and then push even more to get through it. So what we wanna do, and I'm just gonna take you through a real simple exercise here, but it's very important for you to understand this because it will get you out of the habit of trying to force and kind of strain to get to these notes. Now, again, there may be other things going on with your voice. I can't, you know, tell you without seeing it, but there may be certain things going on with your individual voice that is preventing you from uh, releasing or causing you to have this tension and strain. But let's just start with this aspect. So this exercise is really great to do and you can try this at home and you'll start to see. All I want you to do is to think that you're never going up, you're never pushing up to get to a note. All you're doing is letting go that's really weird, I know. You're letting go and you're allowing the vocal cords to make the change to get to the note. If you've seen my other videos, you know I've talked about um, the size of the vocal cords will determine the particular pitch that you're creating. So now I just want you to try to get this concept and I'll do this exercise for you. Okay, and I'll do it on, let's just do it on an A. A. that I want you to hear then, for those of you who do music, that third or fifth, um, a, I'm consciously thinking that what I have to do is to let go. If I'm not letting go, the vocal cords won't change in the way they're supposed to, and I really won't hit that note. A, a. So let me do this a little bit longer so you can practice along and try it yourself. And then also a lot of times if you've had certain habits where you've been tightening or pushing, you may not even hear that you're not hitting the notes exactly correctly. So what I want you to do is to start to try to develop this place where you focus, where you hear the notes right here in your forehead as you're doing this. So I'm gonna play it a little bit longer so you can get the idea of it. A get smaller a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a
backing off the sound. So that gives you an idea of that. And the reason I said I'm backing off the sound is because if you've been used to forcing or trying to get that sound off as you go higher, you're going to start forcing more. So don't worry. Allow yourself to develop this first. Use less sound or less air that you're trying to push through so that you can give your body time to start to relax and, and, and allow the vocal cords to make the changes to get to those notes. So again, practice this very easily at first. Each time as your body starts to relax, as we, as we start to get some of these outside muscles, as we call them, or the constrictions out of the way, you'll continually gain more and more range. So practice away and you're gonna get great results with this and be patient with it. And again, if you wanna know more about my program, uh, Singing Made Simple, there is a link at the uh, bottom of this video, so be sure and check that out as well, okay? So until the next video, have fun, practice away, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.